Sandra Johnson is suing her mother, Elma Johnson, in the amount of $600. Ms. Johnson claims her mother caused her to lose wages and a boyfriend. Ms. Johnson claims she shouldn't be blamed for the plaintiff's lost wages. Ms. Sandra Johnson and Ms. Johnson, I take it you're relatives? Yes. yes you're suing each other? Uh, no, Ms. Johnson is suing your mother for $600. Yes, I am, Your Honor. Why are you bringing your mother to court? Your Honor, this woman has made my life a living you-know-what. I'm suing her today for this $600. This woman? Yes, this woman. Referring to the defendant, Ms. Annie Johnson, the Referring one who gave to birth my to mother. you? mother, yes. That's the way you refer to her? Yes, this woman. Well, I tell you what, you won't refer to her like that anymore in this court. Okay, well, I'll refer to her as Miss Johnson if that's yeah. okay with you. It's fine with me, but not this woman, baby. We don't play that here. She deserves much more respect than that. Whether you realize it or not, she does. Okay, go on. Now, you're going to refer to her as Miss Johnson since you don't want to say mama. No, I can't call her mom. I don't feel connected to her. All right. Tell me your story. She showed up to my job in a place that she has no place being, making a whole ruckus, and pretty much got me sent home on the day that I make the most amount of money. And now I lost $600. But not only that, I lost my life, the life that I have been creating for myself since I left her. I've been trying to get away from her ever since I was younger. Growing up with a mother like her is not easy. Why? Look at her. We don't look anything alike. Nothing. I don't even well, know. Okay, stop. You told me to look at her. I'm going to look at her. Now I'm going to look at you. Yeah, look you at her. You don't me. look anything alike. No. Why? Why because do you say that? She has that dark skin. Ooh. Lord, help me. Jesus, help me. Okay, she has that dark skin. So, so what? What do you have? I have light skin. And so mothers and daughters and families <laughs> don't come in different shades? Oh, yeah, that's great. But I realized growing up that people with that kind of skin has it a little bit harder. And, you know, I worked really hard just to keep my life as easy as possible. Okay, you need to hurry up and explain yourself to me. Your Honor, growing up with a dark mother was so embarrassing. All of my friends were white. Everybody was white. Where the did people, you grow up? The guys I dated were white. Where did you grow up? My friends were white. Alabama. And what, how old are you? Your Honor, I'm 25 years old. So what part of Alabama did you grow up in that all your friends were white? Birmingham. In Birmingham. And you're 25 years old. Yeah. Which means that that was in what? 1990 something you were born? 1990. And all of your friends were white. Yes. So if you grew up in Birmingham, Alabama, and all your friends were white, you didn't grow up with your mother? She was barely around. She, she was busy cleaning up after white people. Ooh. I didn't want to live that poor life. Mrs. Johnson, when this child of yours was born that's over here, yes, Your Honor. where were you living? We were living in Alabama, Your Honor, and I was um, cleaning houses for a living, Your Honor, and so we uh, ended up living with different white families as I had my job there. So that's why she said all her friends were white? Yes, ma'am. And she went to schools, she went to school in the area of the families, I mean, the families that you lived and worked for, she went to school there? Yes, ma'am. And do yes, you realize and understand why you were able to do that? Yes, because she was poor and uneducated. And so I had to live a life of struggling. And like I said, I tried, once I got away from her, I tried my best not to live that kind of life. So how did you get away from her? I earned a enough money to get away from her and I started dating this white guy who, whose family had a lot of money. At what age? 16. And then you changed your life? I mean, you changed your identity yes, or something? Yes, I went to college. I got an education, All something right. that she does not have. You won't see And is that her up. fault that she doesn't have an education? Yes. Why? She's her own woman. I'm not her mother. You say you went to college? Yes. You sound like an ignorant fool. Doesn't matter. Coming up on Justice with Judge... We're back with the case of Sandra Johnson, 
who is suing Elma Johnson for lost wages. You don't sound like a college-educated woman. You didn't learn anything about history. Did you take a history class? Sure did. You didn't learn a doggone thing. Because if you don't understand why your mother was working where she was working and doing the kind of work that she did and did not get a college education, it's because you don't understand your history and what went on in America during her age, a woman in the 60s, or 60 and over. And you have the audacity to turn down your nose at her for doing what she could to keep your little behind alive and well. I just don't live my life as a black person, so. What you live your life as? I live my life as a person of privilege. You live your life as a lie. To those That's of why, because you said the man that you went to live with, his family was privileged, not you. Well, that's the life so that I created for myself. Okay. That's the life that I created for myself, and she ruined it. So how she did she ruin that? It? And she ruined my relationship with everybody. How did she ruin your life? And how did she? How did we get to this six hundred dollar claim? Because, Your Honor, once I got enough money to get away from her, I moved away. I didn't give her my number. I didn't give her my address. I told her if I wanted to get in contact with her that I'd reach out to her. But no, she is stalking me. She showed up one day to a grocery store in my neighborhood, stalking me down in the aisles, trying to talk to me in front of all these white people. Oh, and my then, God. What a terrible then, thing. Well, and then the following week, she shows up to my job causing a ruckus and what, when what, she what did, did she that do? she's just at the door saying oh there's my daughter i need something to say to my daughter blah 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 and what I was see your her job i'm a dancer what kind of dancer a burlesque dancer burlesque dancer yes. college educated that's the best you can do yes i'm still in grad school oh what you in grad school for law okay <laughs> law who are you going to represent myself yeah you're right just you because not too many people would hire you with your, your state of ignorance. So your mother is outside asking for you, not asking, but telling people that's my daughter and I want to see her. Right, and, and she that, said that, that to my boss. And? And now he's asking me if that's my mom. And so of course I had to say no, because they can't have people like her in there. What? You mean black people, can, you know, dancing at a burlesque club somewhere in Alabama that's still racist? Listen, and black people aren't listen, allowed? Your Honor, let me tell you something. My boyfriend found out that my mom was black and he confronted me about it. That's and when good. I, and when I said no, I wasn't black, he put his hands on me. Yeah. And that's... it's her fault. She came here to ruin me. It's your fault because you've been living fault. a lie. And you won't accept your heritage and your roots. And you will not acknowledge your mother as your mother. It's your fault because you've been living a lie. And your lie got discovered. And it was totally unnecessary. If you knew who you were and you were so intelligent and so sensible, you wouldn't have to live a lie. I didn't live a lie. And I have a college education. That's great. She doesn't. Oh, my goodness. Ms. Johnson, I feel your pain. Yes, ma'am.